welcome back to the channel. Hi. It's Saturday today. We've got a few things planned for you today on this video. So I don't know if you can see behind me, that's the Bougainville player. Uh, so we're just walking down into the Chillbox Tenerife. There's a big hype about it on TikTok and YouTube. So we're going to see if the hype is real. We tried to get here a little bit earlier to be fair, but it's already past midday now, so the queues. You don't really know much about it, dear, but uh, it, it might have a queue, so we're going to go and check that out now. We'll be an honest review, so how good can a nice coffee be? But yeah, we're going to check that out now. We've just had uh, some nice food at the Smart Bakery just around the corner. We've been to that before and we like it, so good. And the plans for the rest of the video is we're going to give you a, a tour around our Airbnb and, and tell you how much we pay for it and why we prefer that over a hotel stay and maybe a quick look around the Super Dino market as well, because we find that quite interesting. So yeah, come with us today, we're going to show you them few things. Let's start off by getting down to Chillbox Tenerife and seeing if the, the hype's real. Let us know what you think then. The queue weren't very big, but still takes a long time. But there's only two people working, so <clears throat> I think we what we can for like ten minutes maybe. Yeah, queue for ten minutes. There's only two members of staff working, and it seems to take like a lot of effort we every single yeah. drink they make because they're doing presentation every time mm. so you can't really fault that can you mm. it's like cream and then it goes into ice cream it's the same feel you yeah, so you got you got cream on top and then yeah. there's ice cream after cream ice cream coffee mm. it's nice to be fair it's only tiny, tiny little pop-up box, Ooh. isn't it? They've, they've done yeah. very well to market it out there. Yeah. There's no one out here cleaning tables or anything like that. Well, they probably, they will come out eventually, but probably when they get a bit of, and there's no no one queuing. Mm. Do you remember how much it was? 11 euros something. I can, I can check. We had 20% off as well. Oh yeah, you've probably seen that in the video. Um, some guy in front just, just give it pass back a 20% off card so we got kind of lucky there they must give them out somewhere yeah so it was 11 euro four so that would be nine pound 62 so which... ten, tenner for two big coffee ice creams they're nicer to be fair aren't they I think they are really nice yeah we've just had some of the tweets so it is approaching that sickly bit but <laughs> i'm guessing you know that before you order it mm. obviously we've not been able to review the alcohol one because a lot of people are ordering them especially the older they've got like eight slush machines and then about five different flavours of and then they put the little bottles of booze in top people have left them on the table here like gin pink gin vodka hmm glad we come yeah it's really nice really enjoyable
Okay, so as I previously mentioned in the video, I said we're going to show you around the our Airbnb, which I'm taking you through right now. I uh, just thought I'd start the video in the car park that we get. Um, just show you. It's, it's a nice secure gate because Tenerife's been quite a bit of a nightmare, to be fair, uh, for the parking this week. So yeah, let's take you down into the complex and uh, show you around. So this complex is just a mixture of people living here, as well as you can tell it's rented accommodation for other tourists as well so it's just a mixture it has got a pool but that's about it no on-site shops or reception or anything like that so yeah since um ever since i started traveling on my own well i say on my own but you know when independently from when you're 18 19 first thing i always ever did was get on skyscanner find the cheapest deal and then it's a case of um, weighing up the accommodation options so in this case last year we found this airbnb since then we've made a relationship with the owner who then gives a little bit of a better price which i'll come to at the end let's check it out now so yeah this is like the front porch area now as you can see there is quite a uh, buddha theme going on which we quite like because we like thailand and stuff so that's a nice touch. And yeah, and then because it's um, off the ground floor, there is this um, awkward spiral stairs with the luggage, but it's fine when you do it. So let's get up there now. Hello. And here's Steph, who's going to be showing his round. You look nice. Oh, thank you. You too. Apart from the socks and sliders. Welcome everyone to our Airbnb. So this is the bedroom. Nice comfortable bed. Um, the pillows are amazing aren't they? They're like memory foam. Um, very very comfortable. Um, yeah so you've got all wardrobe there and the window here. So there is actually no doors in this Airbnb at all, but they have put this thing here where, um, because this Airbnb actually sleeps three people. Then we move on to the bathroom. Okay, if you just want to go in with the camera. <laughs> yeah, a small basic. Yeah. Nice shower. Bathroom, but it's fine. It the pressure. Get the washing machine, which you don't normally get in a yeah. Filter. I've used it a lot as well. Um, these products are on the bottom. They're like our, when we got here. There was all different types of sun lotion and like moisturising stuff, shaving cream. So it's just from the other guests that they've left, which yeah. can be quite helpful. The pressure in the shower is amazing, isn't it? It's actually amazing, um, which is what you need. Obviously, mind all our stuff, but here we've got just like a basic working space. Yeah. And then the kitchen area with a nice little table. Um, you can just basically use everything so you can make yourself some breakfast. Um, there's a microwave, an oven, fridge obviously. Um, freezer. Yeah, fridge, freezer. Just all the pans, all the cutlery. Yeah, like that. everything you normally find in a kitchen. This wine was left here as well, but we're not mad drinkers, so we didn't have it. Obviously, I can't have anything. So this is the city that I was talking about. Um, we've not tried to open it because obviously we didn't need to, but that actually opens up into a bed. So there's another space for sleeping there. Then you've got the TV. We've not no, turned it on, I believe no. We've stayed twice here. Have you mentioned that we've stayed twice? Yeah. We liked it that much that we had to return. And then, this is the, what do you call it? Pièce de résistance or whatever. Terrace. Everyone put your sunglasses on because it's very sunny today. I've got a bit of washing going on, so just ignore that. Look at this view. What more do you need? Nice, amazing, big city out here. 
Yeah, the woman that owns it, she's got some amazing plants. They look fake, but they're actually not fake. And they're actually all real. Yeah, we've been having some nice mornings and evenings here, haven't we? I don't know if it looks as big as it actually is, but it is a really, really big space out here. So yeah, uh, that's basically our Airbnb. Um, I said I'd tell you the price. So what we agreed on this time round was 60 euros a night, which is obviously it's unbeatable when it comes to booking a hotel. So you've just got to weigh it up what you prefer. Um, we've stayed in a hotel last year and we've done Airbnb. And just we prefer it. This time round we rented a car and it's just been so easy. Oh, because obviously, to be fair, this, this Airbnb is right on a hill. Um, it's in the Torviscus area, so if you're aware of that, it's very hilly around here. So there's lots of walking to do unless you have a car, so um, we're, we're happy with that decision, aren't we, this time around? Yeah, it's just that independence that some people prefer. I mean, I like the hotel life as well. Um, where well, you get come, the room cleaned Yeah, up. and fresh towels and everything, but obviously, like Ben said, we've got a washing machine here, so you can just do all your washing. So Yeah, I like both, but sometimes it's just nice to have your own, basically your own home for the amount of time you stay on holiday. If you found this tour any good, let us know in the comments if you'd stay here or you prefer to book a hotel. But you also leave the link in the description if, you, if you're interested in uh, checking the price out and some dates and stuff like that. Another thing to mention, the sunsets on this balcony are absolutely amazing. The sun just disappears into this sea. Yeah, you've got a perfect sea view as well, sea and sunset view. So I'll, um, I'll maybe get some shots of that after this and uh, add it to the end of the video. Uh, we mentioned that we were going to go to Super Dino. Maybe we're not, I don't know yet. Um, well, we've already been, but yeah. we've not filmed. It's just, it was just a bit rushed, so. All right, so this is our last night in Tenerife as well, so um, we're going to get off camera and enjoy. Did you mention the pool? Yeah, I mentioned it's got a pool. Right, okay. And I'll add some clips into it as well. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.